Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. It's always a blessing to have you guys here. If you are new here, I welcome you. And if you are in fact returning to the channel, my darlings, I welcome you guys back with open arms. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond. All right, so Aries, we're going to get into a quick read for you guys. I hope that you guys are doing well, blessed and amazing. I definitely was live today. Um, you guys might have missed the live stream, but I definitely was live today, you guys. All right. Um, I will be going live again for channel members on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you are not a channel member, you guys, please go over and join the membership. So that way when I do go live, you'll be able to ask me questions there and all of that, okay? And so much more when you do when you join up. For memberships, all that perks that you'll be getting is on point. Okay, so go ahead and join the membership. All right, this tends our space just a little bit. All right, let's get into a quick prayer because a prayer is always a must here. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my secrets. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Use my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that... You want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. All right, amen. All right, so Aries, just know that this reading is a general reading, not a personal one. So, with that being said, it may resonate with you, and then again, it simply may not. Um, please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. The roles are all, always reversing you guys, so keep that in mind. I really don't want you guys to force the reads because it is not meant to be forced. Okay, <clears throat> if you are a cross watcher, the same thing applies to you guys. Also, I have future bed over there, so let's turn this a little bit here. All right, so the same thing applies to you guys. Um, just whatever didn't resonate, just send it back to the universe because that is where it came from. Your messages, all right. A personal reading is available on the channel if you guys are interested in having a personal with me person is available okay all you have to do to connect with me is to check in the description of the video and you will see exactly how to connect with me to schedule an appointment for a personal one hmm. Hmm. i just got the eating the salad you guys mm. okay all right let's get an angel here the angel that comes through tonight will be the angel that will assist me with this read. And this angel I share with you guys also. All right, so we have the angel of health. The angel of health will be the 16th angel in line. All right, thank you, angels of health, the 16th angel, for coming through to assist me with this reading. For Aries, we appreciate you. All right, let's get your message here. All right, angels, ancestors, spirit guides. Angels, my ancestor, and my spirit guides. Universe, my eye ups, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Use my body as a vessel, please. What are the most important messages here for Aries at this time? Only important messages. The Angel of Health, number 16. Only important messages here for Aries. All right. All right, so I'm saying I love you. Okay. I love you. Our right, loyalty is in question, though. Self-worth. Um, you are not being valued in this connection. Um, consider moving on. All right, so someone is in love with their person, but I feel like the, your person doesn't value your worth. Loyalty is also here. So this person may be doing some things here that you're either not comfortable with, Aries, all right? You feel like there's a change that's needed here. Your partner wants to be with you and someone else. Truth is truth-seeking, 
um, you will discover the truth about this connection. So there's something that you're going to be finding out really soon here. Mm -hmm. What is this? This person may be hiding something. For some of you, you may already know that there's a truth that's coming through. What is this? Lust. Sexual chemistry, but not depth here. Uh, so I feel like whatever this is, you may have sexual chemistry with this person, or this is in the reverse. But I feel like there's someone here that is not equal. Equally binding here. Something feels frozen, or someone wants more than just... Uh, Good night. Oh, what is this, please? I'm hearing lust also. So this person could be a flirt. Apprehensive. Uncertainty about the future of this connection. Yeah, very apprehensive. Somebody's very worried here. Because at this point, you're either feeling that this person is being manipulative. Manipulation, decisions, being influenced or exploited by an outsider. What is this? Clarify that, please. Family. All right, so there's family issues for some of you guys. Future That's connecting with the future. All right, so I'm also seeing abusive or whatever. Third party. Yeah, this is a confirmation. There's a third party here. I feel, believe it or not, I feel like the family, some family members are in on this third party situation. They know what's going on. They're pretending, yeah. Looking for forgiveness, but still pretending here. There's a family member or there's a bunch of family member that's that's in on something. All right, there's a third party here that is definitely interfering with this relationship. is tamed. The relationship is wondering what it needs to do. Fear of loss, fear of loss or to keep this person from leaving or moving. All right. So you're either feeling like somebody's a gold digger or this is how they see you letting go. Somebody's letting go wanting to because somebody's ready to find safety or just know that safety is first. Safety first. I feel like, you know, somebody's just kind of really trying not to have you find out the truth here uh, with their actions. But I really feel like their their actions are speaking louder than words. But because the angels of health is here, it really tells me a lot, though. It really makes me feel like whatever this person got going on, you have to be really, really careful. You know what I mean? You have to be very careful. Especially if you are still being intimate with this person. If you're still sleeping with this person. Because this person may have eyes for other people. Or whatever. Alright, tell me more. Angels of health. Somebody needs to be worried about their health here. Uh, but let's see. Alright, um, pure intentions. Find clarity. Surrender your ego. Our angels are saying you have to do that within the next few months because it's needed more than ever. All right. Um, oh my goodness. Confirmation, honey. Improving your health. The angels of health is here. Improving your health. Confirmation. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Somebody needs to be taking care of themselves. Why do I feel like this? So, why do I feel like there's somebody that's worrying about what someone is either doing or not doing when you should be really worrying about you? Someone needs to be dedicated to themselves. Okay? And start taking more care of yourself mentally, emotionally, financially. Taking care of you. Something needs to be adjusted. I'm seeing someone in bed being very sick here. And the angels are like, why are you even doing this? This is crazy. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of things. You see me? I'm like, I'm like seeing a lot of things, okay? 
let me just tell you this. If, and, and, and again, take your heart resonates with you because it won't be for everybody, but it's going to be for somebody. That much I know. Somebody definitely needs to start taking more care of themselves inside, okay? Because I'm seeing someone getting really, really sick here. Sick to the point where there's a possibility of a transition taking place. Because I'm seeing people from the other side kind of weigh in. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm, am I coughing? So I don't know if there's smoking happening here or somebody's dealing with cancer. Because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling something in here, in the neck. In here. Okay? Because I, I suddenly felt like oh, I, had to, I had to cough. Alright, so somebody is definitely dealing with a situation where if you're not taking care of that situation the way you should, I'm seeing a transition happening here. I'm seeing the angels sitting at the foot of your bed. All right. And I'm seeing people that has already passed on, that is close to you, that is waiting. What, what is this, please? Because, oh my goodness. Sometimes we just tend to worry about things that don't need to be worried about. Your angels are saying that you are ready. Or whatever that is, you know what that is. And just saying that you should know what that is. You are ready. I'm hearing you're ready to move forward and be happy. You're ready to take care of those health issues. All right? Create your vision and do what makes your heart sing. You are being nude forward. Oh, my goodness. You are being, I told you, I saw an angel sitting at the foot of your bed holding your hands law of grace be your divine essence and and dissolve all the all in grace period oh my goodness all right um because you're not going to take any further risk here somebody that was taking risk you could be taking risk with your heart you could be taking risk with your health there's no need to worry some of you may be worrying a lot there's no need to worry what is this Cocoon of white light. Rest in perfect love and understand oneness. Amen to that, okay? For some of you guys, you're just kind of just feeling very restless or hopeless. You have to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. <clears throat> and I still feel the need to cough. Like, I feel like somebody may be smoking. Somebody needs to stop smoking. If you believe that you can stop, you will. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Taking care of your health, self-love, self-care, it's going to be up to you. It's not going to be up to nobody but you. You already have the signs. You have to find a peaceful resolution to make this happen. It starts with you. All right? Um, the truth is going to come out. I wouldn't even worry about that because the truth is going to be told regardless. Somebody will have no choice but to spill the damn beans. All right? Trust and believe that it's going to happen. All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I look for a sign. Trust and believe it's going to happen. You have to look for a sign, okay? Um, Don't stop. Don't stop. You have to practice in mad moderation here. And just saying that you need to practice Aries in moderation because the truth is going to come out regardless. And it will bring the situation to where it's going to improve. Things are going to be changing for you mentally, emotionally, and financially. All right? Um, the situation is going to change. That's just the word of God. All right? A year from now, I'm hearing, um, you know, live in your bliss. So this could be your finances, your health getting better, things are getting better, things are looking much brighter for you, diligence, and focus on the positive, period. All right, you are never alone. Told you, there's an angel sitting at the foot of your bed. The angel that sits on the foot of your bed is sitting on the left hand side of the bed. Is it the left hand side? Yeah, it sits, the angel is sitting on the left side, the left hand side of your bed. So no matter where it is that you're laying, even if you're sitting on, even if you're laying in bed on the, I'm turning this way, right? So your bed is facing, the head of your, your bed is facing that way. 
and you're laying on this side. Your angel is on the left hand side, okay, of your bed. And I'm seeing you over here. The angel is on the opposite side, reaching over and touching you, guiding you, okay? This is what I'm seeing. All right. Ask this angel to help you. That angel that I just told you about, that is the angel that you need to pour your heart and soul to. Ask this angel to guide you. I'm telling you, yo, you guys, oh my goodness. Um, just stay focused, all right? I love, I'm just having like so much emotion doing this read because while I was on the live stream today, you guys, it's like this read is coming right back up based on what we were talking about. Um, Someone asked me on the live stream, how do I separate Christianity from the tarot? And that was one of the most intense questions a person read. I've had trolls come out swinging in the in the comments sometimes as far as that is concerned. But Tanya was her name. Tanya, big up yourself, girl. She asked me that question on the live stream today. And I was so happy to explain my part of how I deal with it. My experiences from day one, okay, until this point. And it really brings me back to this read. It really does. It really does. It's like what I'm seeing here, being focused, dealing with your health, taking care of yourself and putting yourself first. You have to sometimes block everything else out around you so that way you'll be able to put in positive energy. This is all positive energy because you are of service. And because you are of service, your service is to pleasure the heart and soul, okay? And manifest in peace and helping others. Right? But you have to start with yourself. There's no way you could do anything without you release the toxic relationships. Oh my God. Y'all, I'm not playing. Look at that. Releasing toxic relationships. Did not talk about that. Y'all, if he, any of you guys was on the live stream today, please let me know in the comments. Because everything that I was talking about, it's right here. It's right here. Somebody needs to take notes. This is what I'm being told to say. Somebody needs to take notes. And start putting yourself first. Sometimes we as humans... We tend to put other people's problems for our own. It's not our weight to carry. It's not our load to carry. It's not ours. We have to let that shit go and live. For us, you know, you, may, you might have to be selfish, but hey, lead by example, period. Soul, satisfa soul satisfaction, honor your uniqueness, okay? That's what I was talking about today about spiritual gifts and how do you separate your spiritual calling if you are connected to people around you such as yourself who are Christians. Oh my goodness. Soul satisfaction. Honor your uniqueness and do what makes you feel good. I knew I was different. I told you guys in the live stream today, I knew I was different when I was six years old. I found out that I had some kind of an ability for something. When I was six years old, I realized that I was different from everybody else. I just didn't know what God wanted to do with me. And I never understood it until I was a grown-ass woman, what God was trying to really do. I was fighting the entire time, and God said, you better not fight no more because you're going to be miserable as hell if you continue to fight. You'll be punished dearly if you continue to fight. And as soon as I gave in and gave up to God and do his will and how he wanted me to do his work, all was well. I have so much peace, you guys. I have never had so much peace in my entire life. The peace that I have right now. Peace. Perfect stillness. Peace. 
All right, angels, and sisters, spirit guides, spirit guides. Like I told you guys today, do not call in spirits. Call upon the guides, okay? Because not all of spirits are good ones. Call upon the guides, your guides, your spirit guides, the one that is assigned to you and only you. Oh, my goodness. I cannot stress that enough. Everyone has a guide, okay? All of us have a guide. All right, angels, what is this? The seven of wands. What is the seven of wands? What is the seven of wands? The seven of wands is the queen of swords. The seven of wands and the queen of swords is putting through the eight of cups. So there's definitely a feeling of you defending yourself here. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting your all, your half spring. If you have children, you're standing your ground finally because you feel like, you know, the more that you try to fix a situation, the situation feels like it's fighting against you. You're fighting a battle here. Someone, you don't even know if this pe these people or this person is with you or if they're against you. So you constantly have to be fighting for something. The Queen of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Be honest and fair about what it is you really want. Because if you have to cut throat, then you have to cut throat and keep it keep it pushing. Objective and, and truthful is what you're trying to defend here. And being independent. But at some point of time, I'm seeing you kind of walking away here with the Eight of Cups energy. Walking away, letting go, and leaving everything behind. It's more like the Six of Swords type of a thing where you're just feeling very betrayed or whatever. You're cutting your losses and you're cutting your ties here and moving on, moving away here. Or oh, what is this? All right. So you have the seven, I'm sorry, the five of pentacles here, the five of pentacles, and you also have your strength in the reverse. I feel like there's a feeling where you're feeling very weak here. Feeling very tired, very weak, very out of it, out of place. You feel like you just no courage to move on. You feel like your confidence has been lost. You have no inner strength here. Very weak. Because you might have suffered some kind of a loss here. The Five of Pentacles. Hardship and loss or something. Maybe you're just feeling like you're dealing with isolation or someone forced you to get there. Abandonment. Someone might have just left. Oh, I'm gone. This could be you struggling with your job. Trying to make ends meet or whatever. Deception in the reverse. Seven of Swords. Oh my goodness. What, what is going on here? So you have the tower here with the Hierophant. All right. So there might have been some kind of a sudden change of some sort is what I'm seeing. Aries. Something feels like it came crumbling down. Like London bridges kind of came crumbling down here. I feel like it had a lot to do with other people that caused destruction and disconnection. I feel like right now it's either you're, you're spiritually connected or you're not. I feel like somebody is ready to have higher learning within the situation, within the circumstances, and believe in your goals and your dreams, the nine of pentacles. Effort and success, achievement, independence, and self-sufficiency. I feel like you, some of you guys want to kind of pull somebody in and say, hey, let's do this together. But for some of you, you have to know that there's a road that you're going to have to travel alone. But I am seeing victory with this road that you may have to travel alone. You have the three of cups and you have the three, the six of wands in the upright. I'm seeing you being celebrated is what I've been seeing. Um, you do have the two of swords also in the reverse. I feel like communication has come to an end. Someone is making it very difficult to communicate. It's okay. Because you're going to be res res uh, respected and you're going to be successful. You, you get the victory, you're winning, you're triumphing, your, your rewards, your recognition, and your praise, period. I'm seeing you definitely being celebrated here. You have the three of cups here. I'm seeing friendships being restored, um, reunions here, people that you may have not seen in a long time. Those are coming back together. It could be family or friends or whatever. All right, what is this?
All right, so there's no movement here. Whatever it is that you've been holding on to, you have the chariot energy in the reverse with the queen of cups. So there's definitely some kind of a blockage here. This is why the chariot showed up in the reverse. This person is not ready. That emperor, that empress energy is in the reverse where this is you. Somebody energy is just at a zero. Stand still. All right, somebody's over it, done with it, can't be bothered. Healing or trying to get out of a situation that feels stagnant here. Somebody ended something. Somebody either ended a marriage or ended a relationship. Somebody just ended something. Someone put an end to a dream. The Queen of Pentacles here with the Nine of Wands. Somebody's ready to close. Somebody is ready to close a, a chapter to really resonate to success with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, being generous with yourself, caring for yourself, nurturing yourself, um, comforting yourself, and being very practical here. I'm feeling feeling like there's some kind of a business for some of you that you might have wanted to do. For some of you may have a great business sense, but I'm seeing you doing that. This could be an opportunity for something new that you're building or you're gaining or something. Okay? You're ready to put the work in, but you have to be committed and dedicated to, to for, as far as work efforts are concerned. And lean on your own understanding. What is this that I'm picking up, please, for Aries? Lean on your own understanding, honey, because not everyone said that they want you to win means that you they want you to win. Words are just words sometimes without meaning. People will say stuff. They don't mean a damn thing they say. Sometimes you just have to be your own hero. Because ain't nobody going to see your dream. Ain't nobody want to manifest your dreams with you. Everybody's selfish as hell. They're just selfish as hell. They don't see your vision or nothing. It's all about what they want. Over what you need. Oh. What is this? All right, so you have the lovers here. So it really tells me a lot. This could be a marriage or something. It could be a twin flame connection that is calling for balance or spiritual love or whatever. It could be a marriage. This is not with you, this is someone else. But I'm also seeing that being connected to a third party, really, and that did pull in the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. So I feel like there's wishes that has not been fulfilled here because there's no commitment and there's definitely no pleasure that's coming. And someone may be very cold within the energy. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. Blockage and setbacks and delays here caused by this night here. Because somebody is not ready to make a decision to love you the way that you're supposed to be loved. To, to honor you the way that you're supposed to be honored, and most of all, to see your worth. Somebody has forgotten. The angels of hell. What is this, please? All right, so you have the page of wands that's coming through. Um, just being um, dedicated, knowing what you want, fight for what you want, Putting energy in, being fearless, moving forward, creating new ideas, and you will. The, the new new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles energy. This is something new in abundance, prosperity, or just your security and stability and balance in your life here. That's happening. This is double. This came to two times, actually. Twice. I'm seeing patience also and tranquility with the temperance energy coming through. Harmony. So I really feel like that's what you're looking for right now. That's what you're searching for, just to have peace and harmony within everything that you come across. But I really feel like you're kind of ready to, like, not be bothered. I feel like, you know what? I really feel like some of you guys are just sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're just sick and tired of being sick and tired. But I can tell you this, though. It's time that you focus on you, okay? Um, you have to focus on what is best for you right now. Okay? You you definitely are going to have to do that. Focus on you. Let me pull some messages from my deck. All right, so my deck is called the Awakening 1111. The information for this deck is also in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing, okay? All right. What's the message here? Let me have some messages here, please, for Aries. All right, so I'm getting trust in your intuition here with the High Priestess. You have to stay focused on your dreams here okay stop dreaming start doing somebody feels very broken here because somebody is dealing with silence somebody's either not communicating don't want to talk 
I'm hearing I felt raped in this connection uh, mentally because someone may have stopped the foundation. This could be money too. I'm ready for something serious because you're dealing with a player here. I do feel like this player might have taken a risk. Whatever these risks are, this player is saying, I'm not ready to commit, but let me whisper sugar in your ears. Anxiety. It's, this is causing anxiety, major anxiety and major stress here. This is something that you done, but you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to take start taking care of yourself in every way, shape, or form here. Okay. And somebody's doing some things very crazy. Yeah, this is coming back again. See that? Broken. With that two of swords energy right here. Communication. Okay. And, and, and not giving what you want because they decided to run and be a ghoster here. Now I'm seeing healing that's coming through. Somebody's trying to heal or cleanse the energy here or, or dealing with pain and suffering or something. Separation. This feels more like justice. Finally. The truth is coming out or being revealed because of something bitter here. I'm seeing a storm warning here that you may have enough of yet. Look at that. Boom. Confirmation. Storm warning. Painful one though. Um, they are the empress. Is this the empress? No, empty. Empty unhappiness. So somebody wants to be happy but feeling very empty. I feel like for some of you guys, believe it or not, you might have settled for less because you didn't upgrade. You downgraded to somebody you thought that you could trust, right? All right, so the time here. Time and clock is ticking. I hate it when you leave after sex here. Healing is needed on that because you feel raped on every damn level. You want to be free, but I'm stuck with the pain that you left. Cleansing is needed because this is it's either taking major energy from you. I forgave you for ghosting me. I already knew that. Releasing. Apology that wants to come through. I have a secret, but guess what? This person does not want to run things or ruin things any further. They're not going to tell you. Surrender and clarity. Period. Okay? All right. Conflicted and releasing. Even though there's so much conflicted energy, this person is not ready to give you the clarity that you need to, to receive. Yet, surrendering to anything because this person is stuck in their own world wherever this world is i don't know i'm hearing about the twilight zone so it could be one of those worlds mm -mm -mm. my goodness all right y'all this is going to be your read um put yourself first okay we put yourself first first okay you're going to be selfish with yourself. You're going to put yourself first. I'm just saying. If they can understand why you have to put yourself first finally, then don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Slam. Okay. Put yourself first. All right. This is going to be your read, my darlings. Remember that you did have the angel of health here um and that was the, six, the 16th angel in line okay also you guys if you do need to have a prayer request please let me know that you need one okay all you have to do is leave your initials down below and say hey juliana i need to have a prayer request done okay it could be for you it could be for your family member your kids or whoever that you feel that needs to have a prayer request um if you have not subscribed to my channel life with juliana I do post the video. I do share the videos on the community wall whenever I post them here um, on the channel, okay? So come over and subscribe and say hello in the comments. I would love to have you guys over there also. Now, be sure to join the membership also. And I keep stressing every single time I'm going to make sure that I tell you guys. If you really want to have your questions answered, you have to be a member. Um, and then when I go live, I'm planning on going live every single Friday. Get your questions together and you ask me the questions on the live. I will be going live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If there's any change, I will post it to the community wall. But we are aiming for 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So with that being said, you guys, I love you to the moon and stars. Pray for me as also I'm praying for you. And with that being said, always remember to seek first and you always find. I will see you tomorrow, okay, for the next one. Bye, guys. Uh, let me make sure this is on later. This thing works whenever it wants to.